So who created this video, Polo AI or DVID AI? Here are two new services which have come to the image and video AI creation world. And I'm gonna compare DVID versus Polo AI. Now, Polo AI has a surprise that may be worth spending your money on. But first, let's dig into DVID AI. DVID offers image to video, text to video, video to video, and of course, templates. And these templates are a lot of fun. They're similar to many of the other video AIs, such as Pika, Ingredients, that we've had fun with in other videos. But the question is, what's the quality? So we're going to test image to video and text to video against Polo AI. Evid is a little more expensive than many of the others, but of course, if you pay yearly, you can pay as little as $10 a month, but it's within the range of many of the other image and video AI tools. Polo does have a free version, a monthly and annual payment, but they offer one thing that many of the other video generators do not. You may also notice there are a number of similarities between the two platforms, which you'll see later also, Hey, and if you know how they're related, put it in the comments below. Polo AI also has text to video, image to video, constant character video, video to video, AI animation, AI video effects, which is like templates over at DVID or ingredients and so forth on other platforms. They have an AI image generator, image to image, and AI tools. What's that? These are again like templates, but with a very specific function or goal. So let's start off with text to video. And we'll start off with our favorite Husky running daisy field. We're gonna use their Polo 1.5 option, then we'll compare it to DVID's results. And here we are. Well, I have to say motion didn't work out so well and you see some issues within the face, the movement. Ultimately, it's not as strong as some of the better text-to-video generators. Let's take a look and see what DVID can do. All right. All the options should be about the same. Five seconds, no negative prompts here. And let's go. Well, DVID's imagery, I think, is better. It doesn't show the Husky's face, and there is some motion and movement issues here. But I would say between the two, although they are not of the highest quality in comparison to the top video producers, like I would say Kling, I would definitely give it to DVID. But again, not perfect between the two. Now let's take a look at image to video. One thing I really like about DVID is their uploader. With one slider, you can create the aspect ratio that you want. In other words, you don't just have three options like you do with many video generators. You have any aspect ratio you could possibly want. Click OK. Now here's Grokette and the quality is excellent. I think very good. Now the thing is Grokette didn't fly away. But as far as quality goes, I would put it up against Kling, except for the flying away element not happening. Let's see how Polo does with Grokette. We will again use Polo 1.5, upload Grokette, and surprise, surprise, Polo has a similar methodology in terms of aspect ratio, which again is really nice. We're going to use the same prompt, which I didn't show you before, but I did use this prompt for DVID, and let's check it out. Here's Grokette, and no, uh, things didn't go well. Didn't hold up the quality like DVID did, so I'm maybe not, they're not related. They certainly use the same upload function button, but that, I think that's about where it ends. I'm not so impressed. Here's the good thing where your money may go further. It also includes all of these other image to video models, all under one roof for the same credits. So now let's check it out and see if it is as good as we think. Let's use Kling 1.6 with Grokette. Let's take a look at what Kling did before, before we test this again. So here's Kling before. She didn't get wings or anything, but she looks good. They held the quality together and she did fly off. So this is with Kling 1.6. Now let's try it under Polo. Here's the Kling 1.6 version. 
Well, she kind of falls off. I, I don't know. The quality is still quite as good as the original Kling 1.6. Let's look at it a little bit closer here. Hopefully you're not cut off too much. Yeah, it looks like she falls apart and then you can see her flying away. But yeah, that's strange. Let's use another version that I've wanted to try that I have not. Vidu is good. I want to try Hailu, which is one that I haven't played with very much. I have some videos coming up on it, but let's take a look and see what they do. And this is much more expensive, 50 credits. So as you can see, credits do change based off of the model you use. This is double what Kling is, more than double. Kling was 20 credits, Hailu is 50. Let's see if the price is worth it and we get the quality we're looking for. Here we are from Polo. Grokat does get wings and goes off, but it looks a, like a much more fake cartoon background. Something I would expect higher quality. So I'm not sure. Uh, now it has a similar feel to what we got from Pika though, but Pika had a higher quality level and that was with their version 2.0. As we can see here, this is Pika 2.0. They have released 2.1, so we'll have to see how that compares in a future video. So using Grokket with Hailu and the same prompt, you can see that it's only 30 credits, and actually the pricing is pretty good, especially if you do the unlimited plan. So you have the convenience over at Polo AI, but you're probably paying more overall for each of the models. You'll have to decide which works best for you. But let's see what Hilu does using the platform directly. So using Hilu with Minimax, still good quality. Uh, well, she left her other elements behind, but got wings. And she did go off into that fake background. So I guess that is kind of a Hilu thing. Um, I'm not sure it's worth the 50 credits compared to the others necessarily. I guess it all depends on what it is you're trying to achieve, which honestly, which model works best, whether you're using people, animation, or animals, or scenery. I'm sure each, each model truly does have its strengths and, of course, weaknesses. So in comparison to the two platforms, there's obviously a, an advantage being able to use multiple types of models to compare and run your scenes and ideas with. The question is, is it a lot more expensive to do it this way versus just going to that model direct? And are we getting a better version of that model or not? Going back over to David, I do like the quality. I believe it's their own model. Grokat held her quality all the way through, except she didn't fly away. So for the money, obviously Polo gives you a lot. As far as quality goes, I'm gonna hand it to David when comparing platform model to platform model. Hey, for the fun of it to give Polo a second chance, let's uh, try a knight boxing a chicken and see what happens there. All right, look what we got. We got a knight boxing a chicken. Okay, you know, not too bad. So uh, the chicken in its movement, little little odd, but the knight, the person, eh. Sometimes you wanna give a AI a second shot. Dvid AI for a little bit more quality or Polo AI for the convenience. Let me know in the comments below. And of course, check out the podcast every Monday, noon Eastern time, where we are two creative guys talking AI.